Can you use the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 for professional work? Short answer, absolutely yes. <gasps> And it actually holds up so well against the competition that it's shocking, concerning, alarming. And I only use words like that because it's starting to make me really question whether or not I need to use a lot of my more expensive gear on some paid shoots. I recently shot a fire skirt sequence for my friend Alicia and we only had one go at it. It had to be one take. So I set up a series of cameras, including the Canon R6, the Fujifilm X-H2S, I had the Pocket 3 out there. I had a drone hovering above her. I used the DJI Mini 3 Pro for that. And I also used the Canon R5 for some handheld footage. So before we get into the comparison of how these cameras looked against each other, just a real quick disclaimer, Alicia is an absolute trained professional, certified, insured. She's a fire performer. So anything you see in this video that involves fire, do not try at home, unless of course you meet those qualifications, which you probably don't. All right, let's check it out. That came out really rad, considering we only had one chance to shoot it before that fire skirt burned itself into oblivion. And all the cameras did their part. Every single camera held on to focus really well, and all the footage looked great. So now let's compare all the footage from all the cameras that were set up on the tripods, that being the Canon R6, the Fujifilm X-H2S, and the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. All of this footage was shot in each of the camera's respective log profiles. So without labeling any of these, can you tell which is which? All right, the top left corner is the Canon R6 with a 16 to 35 f 2.8 lens. The top right corner is the Fujifilm X-H2S with an eight millimeter f 3.5 lens. And the bottom left is the DJI Pocket 3. Holds up pretty well, doesn't it? And a really cool thing about using the Pocket 3 on a shoot like this is it has that active track feature where you just draw a box around the subject and it will follow that subject around. Now, since I had never shot anything like a fire skirt performance before, I didn't know where she was going to move or if she'd be leaving the frame, but she really couldn't leave the frame because that thing would track her. And the same goes for the drone I had up there because that has active track built in as well. So even though I wasn't really concerned about any of the cameras losing autofocus, you just never know when you can't monitor them all. I mean, that was a lot of gear to monitor at one time for one person. But when I had that active track, I had no concerns. So after seeing that, if we were to get really crazy with it, you could realistically use three DJI Pocket 3s to shoot something like this. You'd save thousands of dollars if you did something like that. That would be a pretty insane kit, but you could do it. Even in that outrageous scenario, if you have three Pocket 3s, I'd still want a handheld camera like I use the R5 for so I could zoom in and just move about like that, but the rest of the footage is just so similar. So in conclusion, you can absolutely use something like the DJI Pocket 3 in professional or paid work. It's probably not gonna be your A cam, but if you're just getting some B-roll, some side footage, you need multiple cameras set up. An amazing option to have in your toolkit. Circling back to the beginning of the video when I said it was almost concerning, uh, how good something like the Pocket 3 is, that's because it really makes you wonder in certain scenarios if you need something like this, which is just massive and heavy versus something like this, which is so small and can produce surprisingly amazing results you know do you need to invest in expensive lenses for some of your shoots do you need a gimbal when you have this it's just a really great tool and you should definitely have one in your bag there's there's really no downside to owning one of these but yeah i i did not expect to make another pocket three video i was just gonna not do that move on shoot some other stuff but this thing continues to amaze me with its versatility what you can do with it and it's just a really exciting product and it gets me so excited for the future of devices like this or things that other companies are going to come out to just simplify the whole process downsize everything i'm all about that downsizing so this is kind of the way but that's it for this video super short video thanks for checking it out appreciate it if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please do so so we can go on this youtube journey together hit the bell and the like button and hit all the buttons 
And if you have any questions about anything you saw in this video or some more questions about how I shot that, feel free to comment below. Until next time, be excellent.